don't do it like all those other videos look at my ceramic coating and they get right here and they just pour it nicely look how well it works because obviously any car will do that Thanks for tuning into the channel again. Today we're doing a one year review on my ceramic coating. If you've been around on the channel for a while, you know I ceramic coated my car. We ended up using Avalon King's Armor Shield. I did this all in my garage, so keep in mind this isn't professional results. So everything you see is just me. This was the first attempt I've ever tried ceramic coating anything. We did it on my Mustang here. You can go back and check out those videos if you want, but today's video is almost to the day one year after I put the coating on. So I'm gonna go over, show you guys how it's working, how it's holding up. I do daily drive my car, so it's been through heat, rain, snow, cold, frost, the whole shebang. So this is pretty much, if you wanna do this in your garage and you're hoping for good results, this will show you what you get. As long as you got some patience and a little bit of time, it's, Easy to do, I did mine, like I said, first time ever doing something like this and the results turned out pretty good. So I'll flip you around and show you how she's holding up. Okay, so like I said, I did use this. Not much on the box, but you can see on the side, Armor Shield, this is Avalon King stuff. You can order it online. It'll get here within a week. And I'm even up in Canada where it takes a while to ship. Took about a week to get here. One bottle is plenty for the car. I did one coat around the whole car and I didn't have it in the video, but I did end up going back doing the windows as well. As you can see right now, the car is absolutely filthy. The reason I left it like this before we washed the car and get to that point is to show you guys what this does. Because outside, it was just starting to drizzle a bit before I got home. And you can see the car was relatively dusty, but this shows kind of what the starting process will be. You can see all the dust goes into these little drips. That's where your water droplets would have been sitting. Obviously we're in the garage now, so it's dried up, but it does an awesome job of picking up all of the dirt, kind of clumping it into a ball. So say you're going to wash your car or you're driving through some heavy rain, it definitely will get dust and everything. It'll just continue on like you see Along the back here, it all kind of piles up on the edge. Same if we come up to the hood. You can see right on the ledge, kind of where the water droplets sit as you're driving. So the faster you're going and the heavier the rain, it does just sheet off and doesn't clean your car 100%. Don't get that impression. Like I said, I did this myself. So maybe if you had a professional do it or there is also some other brands of ceramic, you might get better results than this, but for a do-it-yourself in the garage for a first-timer, it does, I would say, 90% get the dirt off your car, along with if you get any bugs or bird droppings or anything like that on your car, it does definitely wipe off easier. So I will grab a little bottle of water and show you how it holds up while the car is dirty, and then we'll go wash it, bring it back in here, and show you guys how it holds up after that. All right, so we got our bottle of water. We'll do it just behind the rear window here, just so it kind of has somewhere to run. Obviously, the parts where your car is more sloped, you'll get better results as if you're pouring it on the hood or something. It's not gonna magically run off because water runs downhill. But you can see, don't do it like all those other videos. Look at my ceramic coating and they get right here and they just pour it nicely. Look how well it works because obviously any car will do that. Take the water, splash it on, and you can see for the most part, it either runs off the car or you do get these big beads of water still where if you are driving, that just blows away. That's one of the coolest features of this. It still does it today after the year. When you hop in the car and it's raining and you got droplets like that all over the hood, you start driving and you can just see the wind start to blow and you get the big wave of water over the hood. 
and she just dries herself. So keep in mind, this is also still dirty right now. That's why if you look on the sides here, you do get, it's still all droplets, but they are sticking to the car still. Along with the windows, same thing. Like I said, I did do the window, splash it on. You can see for the most part, she runs right off. But obviously because it's still dirty, you do get your little droplets stuck to the window. But we'll back her out here now, wash her up, and I'll show you guys how she still shines and how it holds up after a wash. I do use, once in a while, if you watch the past videos, I got a ceramic detailer. That is not on the car right now. I haven't used it probably in the last maybe five or six washes. So that's not going to boost the ceramic coating or anything like that whatever's on the car is just the soap and the ceramic coating and if you guys are wondering what i used to wash the car i just got this from chemical guys snow foam you can see this is the honeydew version they also have a strawberry one i believe just soap works good in the foam blaster if you got one of those i'm usually too lazy to pull mine out but whether it's in a bucket or in the foam blaster, just simple wash. There'll be nothing else on the car. So once it's cleaned up, this, and we'll see how she works. She's all cleaned up, good to go. Ended up being a nice, beautiful day today, so no better way to check out the car than in the sunlight. So right off the bat, bring your water back out, splash it on the car, and you can see she still beads up, just like when it was dirty. But as for the sides, it doesn't quite stick as well. And like I said, this is just with soap, nothing else on there, just the chemical guy soap, that's all you use. So, of course, if you have a ceramic detailer or anything like that, it'll get better results as well. As long as you keep her up to date on your polishing and stuff with that, it'll be good to go for days and days and days. Also, keep in mind, like I said earlier, I did this myself. I am by no means a professional detailer. So, you could get better results also with a better ceramic and all that kind of stuff. They're coming out with new things all the time. But for me, do it yourself. A couple days in the garage. You can see we'll empty the whole bottle. 99.9% .9 ends up on the ground. The other 1%, once you start driving, will blow off like nobody's business. So by the time I'm home, she's back to dry and good as new. People also always ask me, does it help with scratches? And yes and no. It will help, you know, if you got to wipe off some sap or bird droppings or something in an emergency. It won't scratch your paint like that, but it's not a miracle coating or anything like that. If you are not careful washing your car, you're using, using dirty towels or dirty whatever you use to wash your car or if anybody happens to scratch up against the side with a shopping cart or car keys or even a belt or jeans or anything like that this is not going to protect your car's paint from that kind of stuff but it definitely does help it can take a little bit more beating than it would just with the paint but it's not like i said some sort of miracle you are going to get little scratches we're out in the sun. I know up here is a pretty good spot. I don't know if it'll really show up that well, but you can see a little bit of spider webs in there still. But with a good polisher, you go over this one more time, it'll buff out just as if you were polishing the fresh paint. And either put another coat on if you have some more left over, or just buff it out, give it a good wax, and you're not going to go crazy. Don't buff the whole ceramic off the car, clearly. But, like I said, you keep her clean. 
don't slack on washing the car. I know I go sometimes two, three weeks without washing it and it definitely shows. But having said that, as long as you got this coating on there, she washes off like it's nobody's business and she's back to black and shiny like she is now in no time. Well, there you have it guys. Just a quick run through of how she's holding up over the first year. For me, I love the results. It's night and day compared to what the car had originally. And when I did this, the car was two years old, roughly, just about two years old. And like I said, from day one to now, when you have car or when you have water on the car, not car on the water, when you got water or it's raining, and you're driving down the road your car is pretty much dry as long as you got a good speed going it blows off just as fast as it hits the car and if you happen to be parked out in the rain maybe you don't have a garage or like me you daily it parks in the rain at work at the grocery store wherever you are as soon as you start driving because the water beads up it doesn't necessarily roll off the car like you guys saw but because it's all beating up as soon as the wind hits it it's just like a big blow dryer and just puts it all together into a big tidal wave and over the car she goes and she's dry. Not completely dry, obviously, if you're in the rain, but same thing if you're washing the car. For me, I dry it with a towel afterwards, but if you don't do that, wash your car in the shade so the water doesn't bake on. Get on there, go for a drive, and she should be, like I said, 99% dry by the time you're back. Just open her up a little bit and you're good to go. Scratch wise like I showed you it's not some miracle coating you will still get scratches here and there So be careful washing your car. I don't think you can put this on and then you're good to go forever because that's not the case But for what you pay for this ceramic coating and like I said, I did it all myself. You can go back check out those videos You are laughing. I recommend it hundred percent. This is one year in it still works as if it's brand new and like you've seen, after a good wash, she is nice and shiny, looks like a brand new car every single time. So if you're thinking about it, I highly recommend it, order it up. Either if you don't want to do it yourself, just pay the money. I know lots of companies, if they're more well known, they charge quite a bit, but there's always some new people around and you can screw it up. So I'm not saying go to the brand new guy, but there's always ones that are cheaper around trying to build their business and stuff like that. Go to them, get it done, and you will not regret it. Or if you want to spend the money, get a professional to do it. I know a lot of them have like warranty type of stuff. Only thing with that is with their warranties that I've known anyway from places that I've been looking into before or anything like that. If you get their warranty, they want you to come back to them. I think it's once a month, maybe every two weeks to get the car washed. They want to wash it and look it over and detail it themselves, which all that adds to the overall price as well. So you got to keep that in mind. But if you happen to find the right place, get it done. Or if you happen to be brave enough to do it yourself, just buy the stuff. I just got a little cheap polisher, the cheapest one I could find. Chemical guys, you can check all the stuff out in the video. Chemical guy, chemical guy stuff, you can order it all online. Took me two days. I could have got it done in one day, but it was really hot. We're like today, we're in the summer, so do it. Put it on your car, don't get it wet, don't get it dirty for a couple days, let it really bake into there. If you have a nice day like this, once it's all said and done, pull it outside. Just don't let it get dirty or dusty. If it happens to, don't wipe it off. Don't try to wash it off, just leave it be and your results will turn out just like this. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Let me know what you think. Big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments and I'll try to help you out. And I hope to catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody.